What's up, Phoenix? How you doing? Yeah, love your city, love coming here. Turns out I love coming here October through April. I came here last July, y'all can have that. It was like 115, come on. The sun is very interested in what's going on in Arizona. It's just like. And you probably don't know this about your town, but you have an abnormally large amount of Walgreens and CVSs here. <laughs> that's not normal amount of Walgreens and CVSs, guys. I know you might think that's normal, but that's not. I was here in June of 2020 when COVID was heat and it was real bad and you guys didn't care. Is that because you had so many Walgreens and CVSs? <laughs> like a virus, look at all these Walgreens. A virus, get out of here. And I don't know if you knew this. Did you know that you could paint buildings other colors? <laughs> There's other colors you can use. What's going on? With you? Is that a deal you made with America to become a state? Like, hey, we're gonna let you be a state, Arizona, but here's the deal. We have 400 tons of paint. You have to use it for the rest of eternity. We got beige, <laughs> beiger and beigest. <laughs> and that's all you can use. And it's gonna get 120, so yeah, that's your take. <laughs> it's up to you. I was flying out here from the Burbank airport and uh, I was in the bathroom and the guy peeing next to me at the urinal, he was making all these crazy, he was peeing like this, he was like, ooh, that's it, that's it, that's it right there. I wanna pee like that guy pees. I've been peeing wrong for a long time. That guy was into peeing. I, like, I find peeing to be a nuisance, but that guy looks forward to peeing, and I would too. I didn't know you could pee sensually. <laughs> I want to pee sensually. I'd be so hydrated all the time if I peed like that. <laughs> I'd get my seven, eight glasses every day. <laughs> my wife wasn't in the mood, that's fine. I got Dasani. <laughs> She'll take me where I need to go. <laughs> Speaking of the bathroom, it's very pee heavy up here at the beginning, sorry. Uh, but. Fellas, let me talk to you for a second. Ladies, you don't know about this probably, but what's going on, fellas, with the, in the public bathrooms? In front of every urinal, guys know what I'm talking about, about, a, about six inches before the urinal, the guys are already laughing, they know what I'm talking about. There's a puddle of piss in front of every urinal. What are we doing, fellas, what happened? There's dried pee with fresh pee on top of that. Everywhere you go. What's up, fellas, are we broken, is that it? We're so broken, ladies. We're just like, that's close enough. I'm just gonna pee. <laughs> it's good. I held it this long, I'm not taking it. <laughs> the guys are broken. We're like, mm. like, I'll stand for the anthem, but no one paid off my loans, so I'm peeing on the floor. <laughs> that's the compromise. I almost missed my flight here at the Burbank airport because I was trying to get some water at one of the stores and the lady in front of me was buying like five or six Burbank t-shirts. Burbank airport t-shirts. <laughs> and she was, I overheard her talking to the lady, she, she goes, I better not come home empty handed again. That means one time she came home from a trip from Southern California and her family was like, where's our fucking Burbank shirts? <laughs> What a weird family. <laughs> it was American Airlines, that's who I always fly. Because I signed up with them like 15 years ago, now I'm stuck. <laughs> can't switch, they suck at airlining. They can't do it. They cannot airline. If American Airlines was actually America, they'd never been to America. Because <laughs> we'd have showed up to all the battles like eight hours late. 
all the muskets would have gone to the wrong colony. We'd be speaking British right now. <laughs> On a flight a couple months ago, I missed a gig, a very well-paying gig because of American Airlines, because the flight attendants didn't show up, so they canceled the flight. Because they were protesting, they told us that. Their flight attendants didn't show because they were protesting. Like, are the pilots up there? <laughs> then let's go. I'll hand out the water. I got it. <laughs> I got this. I can tell people to, if we land in the water, stay in your seat and you'll float to safety. I can tell you that. I got it. I know the spiel. I know the whole thing. If you don't want me to do it, pull the plane over to Home Depot. We'll fill this plane with people who want to work. They'll show up every day early, ready to hand out the water. They won't care. They'll love it. Not only that, if the plane breaks in mid-flight, they'll fix it, and they won't even charge you. Like, it's okay. I got so mad when that flight got canceled. I'm not proud of my behavior, but I went full Karen on that lady right there. I did, I got in her face. I was like, you guys shouldn't be able to call yourself American Airlines. You don't represent us. I don't know how you get to call yourself that. You guys don't communicate with each other. You have no idea what's going on and you can't keep your promises. That's not how America works. And she was like, sir, that's exactly how America works. Like, Touche American Airlines. I'd like to apologize for my behavior. I'm just gonna go sit down until you tell me I can go home. She's just in Laughlin, Nevada, doing a casino there. I've never been to Laughlin, Nevada before. I didn't know what to expect, but oh my God. I don't even know where to start with Laughlin, Nevada. Uh, first of all, I've never been the third best looking person. in the entire city before. That is an incredible feeling. I've never been treated like that in my whole life. They were complimenting my style in Laughlin, Nevada. No one's ever said a word to me about style before. I had complete strangers in Laughlin come up to me over and over again, like, yo, man, what are those in your shirts, man? Those are cool, what are those? It's like, sleeves. Those are slaves. <laughs> I've heard these two guys talking at a casino there, and they were sitting at a slot machine. I overheard their comment. I swear this is what this guy said to his friend. I swear this is what he said. He's like, man, I've been feeling so bad lately. I don't know what's going on with me, man. My body's in, I'm in pain. I don't know if it's because I'm tired from work or it's from where I got shot. And I butted right in, I was like, hey, you don't know me, but it's from where you got shot. I don't need to know anything else about you. I know the pain you speak of is coming from the bullet. And when we're tired, we don't feel bad, per se. We feel well, tired. You had it the whole time. I'm like, hey man, you make a lot, you're that good looking dude with the sleeves. I'm seriously considering moving to Laughlin to lead. <laughs> Never thought of myself as a leader before, but I think I could help these people. <laughs> I've been thinking about them all week. I can't get them off my mind. These poor people. Just walk around their house in Laughlin, Nevada, in pain. Confused to what's going on. They're like, what is going on with me? Might it be this wound? <laughs> or have I just been pushing myself too hard at the office? Uh. Sure is a lot of blood on my floor. I'm getting cold. I wish I had sleeves like that sexy son of a bitch that came through town. <laughs> <laughs> 